Hi there, it's Steve from Trek It. We're here at Mockers Hill, uh, here today to talk about the mountain equipment Fitzroy jacket. Uh, hopefully we'll give you a bit more insight about why we like the jacket and what it's good for. So the mountain equipment Fitzroy jacket is a synthetically insulated jacket designed to be used when you, anytime you stop, be thrown over your other layers, whether it's stopping on a belay when you're climbing, stopping to eat your sandwiches, stopping for an emergency, anything where you're going to stop for periods of time, you want to be protected, this is going to be a good jacket for you. It's perfect for our typically British wet and cold winters in combination with the Prem loft inside keeping you warm with the wind and water resistance of the dry light loft, 30 denier fabric on the outer. So the Fitzroy would cope with pretty much anything that mother nature can throw at it. Uh, it truly excels at cold weather functionality, uh, but please bear in mind that that doesn't mean it's 100% waterproof. However, in our experience, you're really gonna struggle to get wet in this. I've had mine for about the last five years and I haven't got wet in it yet. So, what's the mountain equipment Fitzroy jacket made from? Let's start on the outer and work our way in. The outer fabric is made from mountain equipment's dry light loft fabric. That features a thin micron layer thick PU lining on the inside, which gives you a hydrostatic head of 1500 millimeters. On the outer of the jacket is a good layer of DWR treatment. That means that water beads off. When used in conjunction with what's inside with that micron thin PU film, that means that you get a highly water resistant jacket that's also highly wind resistant. Now the only downside to all of that is going to be the seams. The seams are not taped, so that's where you can't call it waterproof. One of the really nice touches with that outer fabric, that water resistance, wind resistance, it's used in high wear areas inside the jacket as well. In particular, around the edge of the, uh, the collar here, this means that if you're breathing into it and it's wet or cold, it stops moisture building up. Uh, they also use it in the lining of the hood if you're wearing a helmet or a hat or something that's going to scuff around, that gives it a bit of extra protection as well. So the lining fabric is slightly different to the outer fabric. The outer fabric is this red one, the liner fabric is the grey one. Uh, the liner is light, uh, quite a nice fabric. I really like it, it's a bit lighter. That means it's really, really comfortable if you're wearing it just with a t-shirt next to skin. Uh, it also means other layers glide underneath really easily. It's also more breathable, so if you are moving around in it, building it more heat, you can actually move that moisture through, you don't get that clammy feeling next to your skin. Uh, so that's a nice little touch in the jacket. So the insulation inside the Fitzroy jacket is provided by Primaloft. The uh, mountain equipment use their gold insulation in this. Now the gold insulation is their top end uh, insulation. Its warmth for weight is incredible. It excels in wet and cold conditions and it also gives you a good pack size if you pack it down small. Now they're using 100 grams in the body and 80 grams in the arms and hood. That means you get the best kind of blend of warmth but also functionality. You can move it around. You're not going deaf with the hood with a, too much insulation kind of silencing everything around you which is really handy. So individual features on this around the top of the hood uh, kind of around the brim we've got a little stiffener little wired peak that makes a big difference keeping wind snow all the rest of it out of your eyes. Uh, onto the back of the hood is the single adjuster that single adjuster is nice and simple cinches around the crown easily uh, if you're wearing a helmet it fits really well too. Around the face then you've got these little low profile adjusters. These are neat and tidy, they tuck out of the way. You can't get it in the face, it doesn't swing around and hit you. These are, these are really handy. Uh, adjust really tight, you get a nice good fit. Around your head face, whether you're wearing a helmet, just a hat, uh, it all works really nice and comfortably. And like I mentioned before, around the face, and around the top of the hood is the dry light loft fabric. Again, that gives you that extra water resistance. It means it's gonna last a bit longer and stay strong. Although not typically considered a feature, I'm quite a fan of the sleeves on this. They're well featured, they're, they're well articulated, they move around, they've got enough space in them that wearing other layers, whether you're stopping for your lunch and you've already got all your jackets on, instead of taking a layer off, it's nice and easy. You can throw this straight over the top and you still get room to move around and do things. The really clever bit for me though is the seams, where the seams are. Now the seams are across the chest uh, and then down under the arm, and instead of being over the shoulder, uh, it means it's more water repellent across the top of the arms. It also means it's stronger if you're wearing a rucksack. On the, around the cuff then is elasticated to give you a little bit of extra uh, sealing out of the cold drafts and then a nice big Velcro closure. It will take a big fat glove in there quite nicely, but it will cinch down just for my skinny little wrists at the same time. So it's a really good balance of both worlds. So around the hem then we've got these dual tether draw cords. Now I'm a huge fan of these. These dual tethers mean that you're not going to have a big loop that gets caught on things. Now, in a climbing environment, that means there's no carabiners getting caught on it or ice axes or crampons, anything like that. It also means that while you're walking in it, you can kind of decide which bit you want to cinch in. So like now, I can cinch it in and just have it snug around my, my, around my rear, uh, but there's no big kind of loop that I'm going to trip up on. 
It also means if it's kind of tight around the front, I can choose to have it tight around the front. And it's really easy to understand which one's which and tighten it up to get the right kind of draft excluded from me. Uh, keeps me nice and warm, which is great. Lastly then, the zip is dual way. That means that I get the ability to wear a harness. I can open it up and easily get to my harness if I'm belaying. Uh, it also means if I need to get anything from pockets or anything inside, it's much easier to do so. Uh, the other one is that behind that zipper then is an insulated baffle. It's not just a piece of fabric, it's actually insulated. So it's keeping that cold spots down to a minimum by keeping insulation there. Storage wise then, we get two great big insulated hand pockets. Now these are quite nice. They're on the outside of the jacket here. They're fleece lined, got a nice big fleece liner to it. It means it keeps your hands nice and warm. It's great for stashing gloves or for hats, anything you want to kind of keep close to hand in. You also get a nice big Napoleon pocket. I find this really useful for bits I need to keep close to hand, which aren't going to get in the way of where maybe my hip belt or a climbing harness down here. Something a bit more secure. I like using this pocket up here. Uh, inside then are two great big mesh dump pockets. Now these are fantastic for storing gloves or jelly babies if you don't want anybody to know you've got them. That kind of thing it means that you can keep them out of the way, stops them freezing, keeps them close to hand. So, how does the mountain equipment Fitzroy jacket fit? Well, I'm just about six foot tall, that's about 1 meter 82. Uh, I'm about a 42, 43 inch chest, which is about 108 centimeters, and I have a 34 inch waist that's about uh, 86 centimeters around the waist. Uh, I'm wearing a large, uh, I'm wearing a soft shell underneath it and just a thin kind of base layer underneath that uh, and there's enough room I could have a few more layers on and not get kind of too restricted which is handy. So mountain equipment have used their mountain fit on this. It means they've sized it slightly bigger to allow for extra room inside it. You don't have to size up necessarily to get the right fit for you. You should be able to find the jacket that fits straight out the bat. It's got enough room in it to allow you to, to put your layers on and still move around and get some movement. Uh, while said, that still means that you get optimised fit for insulation. It's not so baggy that you're going to lose all your insulation. It just gives you a nice fit straight off the, uh, straight off the cuff. So where does this jacket fit into the layering system? This is very much a belay stop-go jacket. You probably wouldn't want to be walking in this as a mid-layer. It's going to be a bit too warm unless it was really, really cold. Uh, but for me, this jacket works that you're already wearing a fleece or a waterproof, maybe a soft shell over the top, um, and then you decide, right, I'm stopping for lunch, uh, I'm cold. You stick it straight over the top of all your other layers. Your in insulation being synthetic, it's not going to get affected by the wet. Just throw it straight on top, give yourself some nice big warmth straight, straight away. So in summary, the Mountain Equipment Fitzroy jacket is one of those jackets that you can rely on in the utterly worst conditions. Uh, it's just a good warm jacket, keeps you safe, keeps you cosy. It's a goodie. Thanks for watching the video. If you've decided that this jacket is almost the one for you, but not quite, maybe you want something warmer, then click over here. This is the Mountain Equipment Citadel jacket. That is the biggest, baddest, warmest one. If however you think you want something that's a little bit lighter, maybe a bit more wind and water protection, click over here. This is the Mountain Equipment Profit jacket. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.